let's explore average rate of change. Let's do an example. Take the function given by the formula x squared plus 3x. Let's graph this function. Here is the graph of y equals f of x. Let's look at the following two points on this graph. This first point is the point corresponding to the input minus 1. The second point is the point corresponding to the input positive 2. Let's look at this quantity, f of 2 minus f of negative 1 over 2 minus minus 1. This is called the average rate of change. of f from minus 1 to 2. Let's see why it's called that. What does this represent? Well, this represents the change the change of f from minus 1 to 2. We can think of this as the change in y, the change in the outputs. We take this and divide it by 2 minus minus 1. So what is that denominator? Well, that's the change in x, the change in the inputs. The inputs that um, those outputs came from. So we have a ratio. So we have a, a rate of change. And if you look at this more closely, we see that the denominator is the change in inputs. And the numerator is the change in the corresponding outputs. So this is. average rate of change. Let's go back to this example over here and compute this value. f of minus 2, f of positive 2, excuse me, by the formula is 10. f of minus 1 is minus 2, so we get 12 for the change in y, and we get 3 for the change in x, so the average rate of change is equal to 4 here. And you see that this is the slope of this line. 